80% of Americans sleep with their phones. Is this a contributing factor to the mental illness we're seeing, the headaches we're seeing, the brain tumours we're seeing? Because the pillow is no protection. Do cell phones harm you? Well, it's not hard to do a bit of a search on this and find out that they do. But what I'd like to do now is I'd like to take you through a very simple explanation and I'd like to use common sense. Now, scientifically, physiologically, we are electrical people. There's a spark of electricity in every cell in the body. Our electrical system specifically is our nervous system. So our spinal cord, takes the largest amount of nerves. Our brain is a combination of a huge <laughs> gathering of nerves and the nerves go through the whole of our body. One of the problems with technology today is the excess in electromagnetic field. We are electrical people and this excess interferes with our electricity because these devices, whether it be cell phone or iPad or computer, they, they are the worst because they're close. The uh, television is usually a little bit further away, so it doesn't pose as much as a problem. 80% of Americans sleep with their phones. Is this a contributing factor to the mental illness we're seeing, the headaches we're seeing, the brain tumours we're seeing? Because the pillow is no protection. But you need your phone because you're on call. You need it for an alarm clock. I'd like to suggest if we go to bed early, we won't need an alarm clock. I wake at five every day, sometimes 10 past, sometimes 10 to, <laughs> sometimes 4.30, sometimes 5.30, and I never use an alarm clock. But I eat breakfast like a king, lunch like a queen, and tea like a pauper. If I do eat, and sometimes I eat nothing, if I do eat, it's incredibly light. I go to bed early, usually between nine, sometimes quarter to nine, sometimes nine, sometimes 9.30, sometimes 10. I try not to go to sleep after 10. And because I go to bed early and because my windows are wide open and because I have a lot of fresh air around me and I don't have any technology in my bedroom, I wake. We have a divine appointment every single morning with God. Isaiah 50 verse four talks about it. This is what it says, The Lord God hath given me the tongue of the learned, that I may know how to speak a word in season to him that is weary. He wakeneth morning by morning, he wakeneth my ear to hear as the learned. Oh, I love the way God gently wakes you in the morning. Your body's ready to go when it wakes up by itself. You have a much better sleep when you wake up by yourself. And so try not to use the alarm. You might need to use it until you get into the habit of waking early. So if you do need to use an alarm, please put it in the hallway. It will wake you. If you're on call, please put it in the hallway. We've got to keep these devices away from our bodies. There's information coming out today about women, young girls even, getting breast cancer in the breast where they put their, their cell phone into the pocket that's in their bra. You can even buy a bra today with a pocket in it. I wonder how many hip replacements are going to have to happen in the young people that have the cell phone in their back pocket. It's a silent killer because you cannot see the killer frequencies that are coming up. They're, you cannot see them. You cannot hear them. And because we cannot see or hear them, we think we're okay. And because it doesn't hurt initially, we don't think it's doing us any harm. But you can do a search on this. There are many books written on it. There's something like 10,000 research papers out on the fact that these cell phones are interfering with our own body's frequencies and causing disruptions. How we love them, how I love mine. Here's mine. Mine has a safe sleeve on it. It's called safe sleeve. And my safe sleeve has a card in there and that card blocks all electromagnetic field coming out. So I, when I have that up to my ear, I'm not getting any electromagnetic field. You can buy devices that will protect you. Make sure there is no technology in your bedroom. Please be cautious on the children. Let me give you the Russian figures. The Russians who banned microwaves in 1976, 
These are the Russian figures. Under the age of two, no exposure at all. Under the age of five, five minutes a day. Under the age of 10, we're getting up to 15 minutes. At the age of 15, half to three quarters of an hour. By 18, three hours a day. They're the Russian figures. How did they come at those figures? They had scientists that investigated the effect of the electromagnetic field and they want to protect their children. Please protect your children. We are exposed to so many environmental poisons today which we do not choose to be exposed to. They're everywhere, they're everywhere. And so we must do our part to make sure our children are growing up in a safe and healthy environment so we have strong, healthy adults in the next generation.